Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're going to be talking about the Streamlight Keymate, uh, excellent practical addition for your keychain and EDC. Let's get to it. So this video was not sponsored by Streamlight. I have no affiliation with them. I do not sell their products yet. Although I might make a strong consideration to sell them because they're now a part of my EDC in more ways than one as you're going to see in the coming days when I release my new EDC video. But I wanted to do a dedicated video on this thing because, you know, more often than not, preparedness, we talk about the big toys, the, the tactical aspects, but sometimes it's just a practical little thing like this, which can make your life a whole lot easier. If you're like me and you find yourself coming home late at night, or you know you work around the clock and you're often fumbling for your keys to find out which key is which uh, in the darkness you have a lot of keys on your keychain and unfortunately the collars that you can put on your keys aren't enough to be able to uh, differentiate when you have a lot of different keys so for me having something that i can access with one hand is crucial so if it's a two-handed operation flashlight like my former light so I used to have this little O-Light, this I1R, and it's a great little light, pumps out a lot of lumens. It's like a hundred some odd lumens, I think, in this little tiny package. And it is USB rechargeable as well. Had that on there for probably a year and a half now. But it was two-handed operation. So I very seldom would use it when I needed it most. Now, if I needed it as I would an EDC flashlight, it came in handy. But that was very rare because I have other EDC flashlights for that purpose. So it didn't perform the main task I needed a keychain light to fulfill, which was to basically illuminate my keychain when I'm in the darkness so I can see what key I need. This is important also because I have an alarm system and I have several doors to get into my house and I only have a certain amount of time to get through the doors before the alarm goes off. Now, I do have an app which controls the alarm system also, but if I forget to activate that app or something, it's happened before where I'm fumbling to, you know, get the, to the next key because I only have so many seconds before the alarm goes off. So it, it's, this is definitely going to come in uh, very handy because it provides a nice 180 degree floodlight. It's one hand operational. It's only 30 lumens, but that's more than enough if I needed it, say, to illuminate a walkway. If I was walking into my house and it was icy or if there were some obstacles in the way, that would be more than enough light because remember that 30 lumens, that's as much light as one of the old mag lights, like the big ones used to put out. So it's still a lot of light. I like the fact that it's in a key form factor because it means that it matches the rest of your keys. It kind of goes with the flow of the form factor of keys in your pocket. It's a little bit bulky in terms of the thickness, but it's smaller than my car key. So it has a quick release latch on there so you can easily take it off. It's USB rechargeable, of course. And I just think it's a great practical addition. It serves the function. Now, the only thing I would like to see differently, I don't think it necessarily needs to be in the shape of a key. I think this could be improved by making it more of a tubular design by maybe knocking some of the size off of the, the head of the, uh, the key here and have it so it's 360 illumination. So it's all around. So it's a 360 degree floodlight. So, you know, even though this is 180 degree illumination, it's still, you still have to point it in a certain direction. So you still have to aim it at your keys. But if it was just 360 lantern, you could just turn it on and you could see the space that you're trying to operate in everything. So that's how I think it could be improved. If you know of something like that, please let me know and I'll definitely consider integrating it into my EDC. There's three functions. There's low, high, and then there's strobe. It goes into the low mode first. And when the battery's dying, it only does a momentary on. So it's gonna ensure that it's not gonna turn on in your pocket and totally drain your battery. So if it does accidentally turn on your pocket, it eventually is gonna go into an auto shutdown mode and it's only gonna be activated while you're pressing it. So you're not gonna have the permanent on. So you always have some light. So long as the battery's fully charged, you can turn it on, look for which key you want. It should provide you more than enough light to do that. And you know, you get where you need to go. Like I said, this is a primer 
to my new EDC video that I'm gonna be releasing in the next few days here that I hope you enjoy. Kind of trying to do some lighter videos because the videos I've been putting out have been pretty heavy, dealing with some pretty heavy stuff. And I had a request from a subscriber saying, you know, when are we gonna see some more gear reviews? And you're gonna see some more. I have some cool stuff that I'm gonna show you guys in the coming weeks that uh, I think you'll find hopefully useful. If not, uh, you know, just to know it exists, right? I also wanna say we currently are now retailing Balfang radios. So we have the high power UV 82 HP at canadianpreparedness.com. Go check out canadianpreparedness.com. We pretty much have almost everything a prepper could want with the exception of firearms. And who knows, maybe down the road, that might be something we incorporate as well. But for the time being, we got lots of stuff there. I'm going to make a coupon code. I'm gonna call it Spring Fever. If you enter the coupon code Spring Fever, you're gonna save 15% off the entire store. I just decided to do this just now. So uh, go use that Spring Fever coupon code, save 15% huge savings because that's off everything in the entire store and everything is reasonably priced as is. It supports the channel and supports yourself. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.